Hello YouTube, this is Liz Domer, and today I'm going to be putting out, sorry about that, uh, there was probably like an echo there, but I'm going to be putting out two clips today. One is from Pinot Ninja 64, my friend, uh, he got a 22-1 on Search and Destroy. Uh, right here, you can see it throws down his care package, UAB, it's, uh, the 15 UAB challenge, Assault, uh, right here is dropping down. But anyway, he gets a couple multis with his precision airstrike that comes in this care package. And then he gets a multi kill with his predator missile. And he gets a couple more kills. And anyway, and his death. But the second clip is me today going 12 and 1. Uh, I got the pay blow, and sadly, I do not get to use it. The match ends, and. Alright, anyways, we're gonna talk about most pre order games, first person shooter games. Uh, the one is Call of Duty Black Ops that comes out November 13th, and the second one is Halo 4 that comes out November 6th. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Halo 4. I don't know too much information about it, but it already looks like a good game. Uh, there's like a new Spartan system, and the two helmets I know, it comes with a $25 code, and what it comes with is two helmets, probably maps, and more armor. But the two helmets that it comes with is a scanner. It's like a UNSC thing that it says on the top that pops out with like a little camera and a visor, like a bluish visor and a blackish helmet. Um, that's what I saw in the picture. Um, and anyway, there's another helmet. The second helmet is the Strider helmet. It's a red visor helmet. It says UNSC with a little tactical uh, foam. It looks like a Bluetooth foam, even though know, it really isn't. Uh, as you can see, he got that really nice multi kill with the Fred, and he level up to Colonio too. But anyways, going back to Halo 4, uh, it has a really nice like design to it, and they actually, uh, it's not Bungie. If you did not know, you're probably a big Halo 4 fan or a Call of Duty Black Ops fan. If you didn't know, Bungie is out of business. Well, they moved on to PS3. They're not really out of business. Like the Halo business is over. They transferred it over to 343 Microsoft, and they changed it up and they let them take over. Um, if I said that correctly. All right. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh wait, no. We're still on Halo 4 here. Um, Halo 4. There's these new Spartan Ops missions, and it's 16 to 20 hours of playtime altogether. That's a lot of time, guys. I, I, if you did not know like that, it would probably take a week or two to do all those missions. But anyways, that's what they said in like the releasing of E3 and everything. Uh, and the firefight of Halo 3 or team when it first was released onto the onto a Halo game, it actually was only six to ten hours. That's only one to two days. That's kind of sad. That no wonder no one really brought Halo 3. Anymore. But Halo Reach was pretty good. It was probably like 15 to like 10 to 15 hours. That's that's a good time for that kind of game. But anyway, we're gonna start moving on to Black Ops. And the main things about Black Ops is the kill streaks that I found out. Um, the most kill streaks is called score streaks. It's probably the most kill streaks I ever saw in a game. It, there's a lot. Then they're all mostly. Harriers, Strikes, and other Choppers, and UAVs. Uh, the first one is an RCXD. It, that was in Black Ops, the original. And, yeah, there, there was a lot of RCXD videos and stuff. A UAV. There's a UAV in every single Call of Duty besides the first one because they didn't have kill streaks. But, um, UAV. The interesting thing about a UAV is that... You get team assists when you have the UAV, so every single kill that your team gets with the UAV up, you get team assists. So imagine calling in four UAVs. You'd probably get over 20 assists or 30 assists. That's a lot of assists. A hunter killer, um, I think that is a kind of like care package drop or it's just like a mini uh, airstrike that passes over. The uh, other kill store streak, I should say, because it's called score streaks, not kill streaks in this game. I don't know why. I wish it was still called kill streaks, but it's pretty cool. Um, care package. They they have care packages in every game. Uh, there's some more care package info and stuff, but I'm not sure. Uh, counter UAV. It's kind of simple. Everyone knows about that if you ever play Call of Duty. They had that since uh Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Guardian. A Guardian. I don't know what that is. 
a Hellstorm missile. I think that's a Predator missile. A Lightning Strike. I think that's a normal Harrier Strike. Or Napalm, or whatever you want to call it. Death Machine. That is the huge turret that you get out of a care package that you drop down. And you get the gun. And the Sentry Gun is just a deployed turret that shoots automatically by itself. And people can knife it to break it. A War Machine is a gigantic noob tube like a Grim Reaper gun. And it's just a war machine, as it says right there. Uh, a dragon fire is the four-bladed helicopter, like an RCA. Uh, not an RCA, actually. um, the little remote control heli in Modern Warfare 3, if you know what that is. Um, it just flies around and shoots and flashes people. An AGR, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I don't even know what the picture looks like. Uh, stealth chopper is kind of like a chopper gunner or uh, Pavlo. An orbital VSAT is kind of like a UAV, I think, some type of advanced UAV. Escort drone, I do not know what that is. Warthog, it looks like kind of an AC-130 system thing. EMP systems, uh, if you know what Call of Duty is, you would know what EMPs are. They uh, block everyone's red dot sights, their UAVs, their predator missiles, you can't use your predator missiles, your care pack, and things or whatever. Uh, so basically you can't use any kill streaks with an EMP or it's harder to see. You don't have your crosshairs either. Uh, a Lone Star is looks like a stealth bomber from uh, MW2 and MW3. An FTO L warship kind of looks like an AC-130 or it's just a littler version of the Dragon Fire. Um, the K9 unit that's in every single Treyarch game that they made, even Call of Duty World at War. Um, they have canines that come out and kill people for, for their threats. Uh, Swarm kind of looks like an AC-130 or a nuke kind of thing. But uh, anyways, that's basically what that is. And we're going to move on to the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay is over and the scoreboard is going to say that I went 12 and 1. But those are the most released games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll leave some channel uh, links in the description. Uh, the first one is Halo 4 Follower, and the next one is Might or something. I don't know. It starts with an M A T something like that. And they and the M A T channel gave me um, the information about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And the Halo 4 follower, it says it right there. Uh, it gave me Halo 4 information. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out my LSD footage if you know what that game is. The LSD Dream Illuminator. That's probably one of my favorite games now. It was made in 1998. Um, anyways, uh, if you're called D player and you don't know what that is, you probably don't care. So I'm just going to stop right now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And Understand. Can I let go of my